hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones so i did a lot of research based on the numerous questions i've gotten from you guys that watch my videos and this is in regards to studying in hungary as in this particular video i'm going to be telling you guys the top 10 universities in hungary and i will just summarize just a little bit because i obviously cannot go into like in-depth information about all the universities if not this video is going to be very very long but i think i will just have to make this a series just so that it's not so long there's a lot of information i have here with my research guys right now the top 10 universities in hungary so if you're interested in studying in hungary or if you're looking for schools that and you don't know where to start from well welcome to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button like this video and welcome to join the family The top 10 universities in Hungary from my research, in no particular order. The first school here is called Odvosh Lorand University. The next one is called the Shemawais University. Obviously, I'm going to be leaving the names on the screen. Links to these particular schools, the website to these particular schools in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these schools, you can always click on the link and find out more information for yourself. The third one is University of Debrecen, which is where I studied. The next is the University of Zeged. The next is Bud the Paris University of Technology and Economics, which is otherwise shortened as I think BME, if I'm not mistaken. There's University of Page, the Central European University, Covinus University, Obuda University, and there's Hungarian University of Agriculture and Life Sciences. So to be honest, it really just depends on what you want to study because not all of these universities offer, for instance, medicine. Most of them offer like engineering and computer science. I'm just going to start from the Odvosh Laurent University. University is literally the oldest university apparently since like 1635 if that information is necessary of course not but yeah there are basically 80 plus degrees that are offered in foreign language I mean like in English in German they have the faculty of education psychology faculty of humanities faculty of informatics faculty of law if you want to study law so the programs are also in English if I did not mention that earlier the degree programs rather at the faculty of humanities they also offer scholarship of course and there are different types of scholarship i would definitely do a separate video when it comes to scholarships that are offered in hungary because i noticed that most of these schools here offer like it's the same type of scholarships that are in all of them i'll do a separate video about scholarships because if not we're not going to leave here today okay so basically yeah when you're trying to apply to these schools there are different criterias i mean there are different requirements and it's different for different schools so i don't know if i should list all of them but the basic things need to get the application form we need a motivational letter so a letter that expresses why you chose that particular school and even the course that you want to study and basically what motivates you to come to Hungary to study proof of language proficiency you need your transcript as well from school a medical certificate that states that you're physically physically fit to study in Hungary obviously you need your valid passport and your national ID and yeah that's particular that's like the general like gist about application system of course it's different for different schools but if you're interested in any of these, like I said earlier, just click on the link for these particular schools and then find out what they actually need because I cannot really tell you guys everything in details. If not, we're not going to leave here today. So yeah. Another thing that I will need to tell you guys is that most of the time, there's always an application fee. I don't know the price, but it's different for different schools. And then there's an entrance fee. So if you're going to write an exam, you have to pay for that as well. So you have to select your degree program online. Obviously, read the details on the admission and what you need, the criteria and everything. Thing. You start your online application, you fill in the application form, you submit your application form online. I think sometimes you might have to post it like the hard copy of your application um, particulars or documents. You might have to post it, but most of the time it's online. You just have to scan it and then upload. There's always a platform where you can upload your documents online. And then you pay the application fee based on your degree program. So yeah, if there's if your degree program does not require an application fee, then fine. There's always an application fee though. And then you take an entrance exam. Either 
in person or online depending on the situation because right now there's obviously covid so um, i think most of the time is usually going to be online or when you arrive so i don't know your school will obviously communicate that to you and then your letter of acceptance will be given to you if you pass the exam and then they're going to tell you your tuition fee and you have to pay that if you pass all if you get all these requirements ready they might offer you the admission and you have to accept accept the offer and then you prepare for arrival so that's just the basic gist of most of the schools i hope you understand what i just said so the next school i'm talking about is shema wise university which is also in budapest so shema wise is in budapest here and this is a very recognized school i think is one of the top schools of course it is one of the top schools in hungary very multicultural vibrant student life recognized english degrees yeah the degrees are recognized for those of you that like to ask me are the degrees recognized yes the degrees are recognized so yeah this particular school actually offers general medicine dentistry pharmacy nursing and other courses as well the tuition fee as of 2020 which i think is still applicable to 2021 i'm not really sure for a medicine per semester the tuition fee as of 2020 was 9,100 US dollars per semester. Dentistry, equally the same thing, 9,100 US dollars per semester. And pharmacy was $6,000 per semester. If you want to apply to nursing or for nursing in Hungary, you need to apply before 20th of August 2021. So I believe that the application system for nursing program in Shemawa University, Budapest, is still ongoing. So by the time this video is up, I believe it's not up to 20th of august because i knew i know that most of the application deadlines have passed so i'm just telling you guys in preparation for maybe next year if you're interested and um whenever you're interested really but for those people that are interested in studying nursing or you don't know what to study and you want to study in hungary the deadline for the application is 20th of august so you still have at least a month to do that and i'm going to leave the link on where you should apply or where you should check out so i'll leave the link on the screen so during the entrance exam the kind of test that you will take will be in English test biology and you also need your motivational letter like I said earlier and you need an oral interview the oral interview could be online or in person when you arrive so it just depends in regards to the tuition fee you need to pay your tuition fee on time because if you don't pay your tuition fee on time there's obviously going to be a penalty and there's one month free so basically if you're if the deadline of paying your school fees is supposed to be this July so you have August free so you don't have to pay any penalty fee in August but if you don't pay by August you have have to start paying $500 extra by September October so as the months go you keep in the money keeps increasing so the latest deadline is the last day of the study period basically if not if you don't pay your school fees you're not allowed to register for an exam and you cannot write your exams there's usually an examination registration period where you choose or select the dates that you want to take an exam and if you don't pick your dates by then or if you have not paid your school fees by then you will not be able to take the dates that are favorable to you in other words there's something called reduction of tuition fee or allowance of extra work in Shema Wise University and basically that is if you have an excellent record study record so basically if you pass your exams really really well I have an in-depth explanation of this particular information so the credit points or the credit point average that you need to attain to be able to get your student tuition fee reduced all of that but I think I'm not going to go into that I'll probably do a separate video on Shema Wise University and get back to you guys on that and also there's an allowance on extra work so that is if you take on an extra job like maybe a research or teaching assistant or something you have uh, an opportunity to earn some amount of money for that but then to be able to be a teaching assistant you should have attained some level of excellence in your track study record so next um, school is University of Zeged which is located in Zeged so Zeged is another city in Hungary it has an EU accreditation so the general requirements for application like I said just like other schools you have an online application form you need to fill that in and then there's an entrance exam fee which you need to pay and then your academic background which is your transcript your certifications and all those things you need that language proficiency which states that you can speak english very well and you need your medical certificate so these are the basic things that you need when you want to apply to a school in hungary so university of zegad was actually the best uni in 2021 according to some website like that Q qs world university ranking i don't know how true that is to be honest but well because the person that actually discovered 
or isolated vitamin C was actually from Zeged, apparent vitamin C that we all know. So they offer medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, they offer all of those courses and even other courses as well. Dental medicine is basically $17,000 per year. But for the pharmacy, first semester is actually 6,270 euros. Second semester is 4,150 euros. And then later on, third to sixth semester is 5,000 euros. I don't know why they actually separate it like that and it's different amount for different years. 78 semester is 5,150 5, euros. 98, 9 to 10 semester is 4,850 euros. So the application fee is actually 300 euros for pharmacy. They also offer nursing courses as well, which is actually 3,100 euros, an application fee of 300 euros as well. Physiotherapy is equally available, 3,100 euros. Medicine is available. First semester is 7,900 euros and second semester is 7,300 euros. 11th semester is practically the same thing. Application fee is actually 300 euros. The next school I'm going to talk about, which is my beloved school where I studied, is University of Debrecen. And the documents needed for application is basically the certificate of education so either your school living certificate your high school diploma university or college diploma all in english so if you do not study in english in your country you need to translate your documents to english you also need a certificate or proof of citizenship or permanent residence so basically your passport or your whatever that proves that you're a citizen of a particular country for non-medical programs the language proficiency exam is not actually necessary you just need to prove that you can speak english now you also need a short resume or cv I I don't even remember if I did that. Apparently, you need a CV which shows your personal details, your educational background, your work experience, if you have any, the language skills, and any additional skills of your choice. You also need a bank receipt to show that you've transferred the 150 US dollars application fee. Remember that University of Zeged was 300 euros for your application fee, but University of Debrecen is actually cheaper for the application fee. So you get to pay 150 USD as application fee, and you need to prove that you have paid that as part of your the requirements for admission in the medical certificate as usual and for citizens of usa if you're coming from the us to come study here you need your m cat i don't know what that is medical college admission test actually so there are obviously more than 80 degrees that are in english here there's undergraduate foundation program graduate programs and phd programs as well so for the undergraduate program usually like six to seven semesters depending on the kind of program that you are going into and the average tuition fee is six thousand dollars per year mind you you can actually pay per semester for the graduate programs which is the masters or phd which is usually around four semesters the average is usually around seven thousand five hundred dollars per year they also offer scholarship programs which i'll go in there to the next video medical and health sciences the entrance and ex examination fee is around 350 us dollars bmc as of i don't know last year i think from september to june that's the long bmc which is two semesters is seven thousand us dollars dentistry which is usually 10 semesters is seventeen thousand five hundred us dollars per year medicine is 12 semesters and it is sixteen thousand nine hundred us dollar per year pharmacy is 10 semesters and it's eight thousand us dollars per year nursing and it's six thousand five hundred us dollars per year physiotherapy is eight semesters as well and it's six thousand us dollars per year we also have public health which i've not mentioned in any other school which i don't know if they offer it but i think they do for public health here we have the bsc public health and we have the masters public health but bsc public health is equally six thousand dollars per year but the masters in public health which is what i did is eight thousand us dollars per year which is three semesters by the way so there are equally other masters program there's a complex rehabilitation um program i'm um, sorry course which is three semesters social work in healthcare, social work and social economics molecular biology so these are all masters programs the entrance exam is usually written and oral and is test in biology physics and chemistry for these particular courses i just mentioned the university of page offers study programs of course page is a different city in hungary so there's obviously a university there as well to apply for university to the university of page rather you need your high school diploma transcript grades from secondary school like physics chemistry and biology especially you need a bit to in english so you need to prove that you can speak english you need to pass the entrance exam oral 
oral and written entrance exams. So there are usually a lot of um, agencies that help to connect students from countries to the schools here. I don't want to mention their names to be honest because I have them here. If you need any of that information, send me an email and I will tell you about them. But I rather not say here because I've not affiliated with any of these agencies and I really don't know what can happen. So yeah. So there's usually two rounds of application. There's online and electronic and then you have to pay your tuition fee and submit the hard copy of the application form. The application fee for University of Page is $200 and you also need to pay $250 US for the exam fee. All of them are non-refundable, did I mention? You also need your medical certificate if I did not mention. You need a chest x-ray that states that you're fine but your chest x-ray should not be older than one year and it should be a doctor's note, not necessarily the film. <laughs> And then also a vaccination card that states that you've been vaccinated against hepatitis B and C or a serology result for hepatitis B and C. HIV test that is not older than three months. So yeah, application is valid only after online application and first set of soft copies. So you need to have applied online first and then that's when your application will be valid. The hard copy should be posted within two weeks after your tuition fee has been paid. Tuition fee for medical school is 16700 50 US dollars per year. Dentistry is five years, 17,350 US dollars. Your diploma is accepted by all EU countries, so don't be afraid of coming to study in University of PH because it is recognized. Like I said, there's a lot of information, a lot of information, but I'm just going to get through this really quickly. The next university I'm going to talk about is Central European University and um, it is basically US, Austria, and Hungary accredited. It is registered with New York State Education Department. So they have a branch in Vienna, they have a branch in Budapest. So it just depends on you. They offer undergraduate programs culture, politics, society, philosophy, politics, economics, quantitative social sciences. Then they also offer more graduate course, um, programs, which are social sciences and arts. How to apply, you need your academic writing submission. Also, you need letters of recommendation. You need your academic records as usual you need your cv as usual proof of english um, proficiency as usual for master's degree an average of twelve thousand euros per year for doctoral phd degrees it is fifteen thousand euros per year they equally offer scholarship programs as well so now the bame university which is basically the budapest university of technology and economics bme is also in budapest and um, they basically offer technology informatics natural science courses and it's Tuition fee averaged about 3,500 euros per semester. So your application fee is 100 euros as well. There's usually scholarships. Now the last university I'm going to talk about is the Budapest Covinus Egetem, which is called university. So you can either do full time here or part time. If you want to work, you can work part time and then do school part time. Basically offer social sciences courses, communication and media sciences. For the master's program, approximately um, 3,500 euros per semester. And full time, if you you want to do your MBA, they offer MBA courses here, which is about 3,400 euros per semester if you want to do full time, which is about two years. So you can get that here. I hope you had your notes and your pen to so take down notes or if you had your jotter and your pen to take down notes on like the information about these universities. And of course, I'm going to talk about the scholarship program in another video, a separate video. But I just hope that this video was helpful. And I hope that with this particular video, you are able to figure out a university that interests you. So you're welcome to Hungary if you want to come school in Hungary. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more of this kind of videos. Give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My name is Opsi underscore P and I'll see you in my next video.